Today is the 10th of January. I want to perform a, a bit of an experiment just to test the um, effect of um, acetone uh, on um, this lump of um, amber. Well, I got this from Zambia um, it last, last October and I just want to be absolutely sure if this is actually amber or copal. Copal has got a way of actually reacting with amber, uh, I'm sorry, with acetone, um, in the sense that it becomes sticky. And what I've actually done is that I use um, a bit of a screwdriver and I chipped up a bit and I put it in there, as you can see. Actually, I don't think the light is very good there. Yeah, there, there we are. Yeah, there we are. Oops. There we are. So, I've got a piece there. And um, what I've now done is that I've got, I went to the shop, I've got some nail polish remover, okay, and uh, it's well known and does have um, acetone inside. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read Chinese, but uh, it's flammable, as you can see there, and uh, also it does say acetone somewhere along the line. So what I was going to do now is that I'm going to add a bit of um, acetone to this and see if there's any reaction. What people say is this: if 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 it is if it's not um, if it's not um, um, amber, there will be no reaction. I'm, I'm sorry, if it's amber, there will be no reaction. But there's no reaction, uh, that means that it is amber. But if there's a reaction, that is if it becomes sticky, then it is copal. So, I'm trying it now. Let's try to hold it my hands. No, it doesn't stick. You know what? Having said that, it is sticky. So it is copal. There's some sticky bits inside it. So it is copal, not amber. That's the conclusion of my test. And I guess it might even be a mixture of copal and amber. I don't know how that come about, but that's what it is. Thank you.